Chris Wilder's just come in here like a bear with a sore head. Can you, can you sort of understand that kind of emotion, bearing in mind the way the game went, or not? Um, two set pieces were the goals. They'll be disappointed with the one we scored, and we're, we're disappointed with, with the one that they scored. Um, they, I feel, listen, I think they edged the game. They, they, they played better than us. I think we, we didn't get our passing game going as much as what we wanted, but we've got a platform that makes, still makes us hard to beat, even though they dominated it. It still makes us hard to beat. Um, and if you're not playing particularly well going forward, then you can still grind out a point, which is what we've done today. In terms of yourself, you finish off with an unbeaten record. You must be happy with that, must Yeah, you? absolutely. I think the football club should be happy with it. I think the fans should be happy with it because they've got a dressing room full of players that that are, you've seen it today. You know, it, what we weren't great going forward. We weren't great on the ball, and we didn't we we didn't plan to be like that. But what you did see was players throwing bodies on the line and covering distances, and it, and and that's that's a real good starting point for this football club. In terms of Carl, did he have any input at all? Because in your programme notes, you said you've been. You know, he kind of left it all to yourself. Is that kind of the way it's been? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I spoke to him on Wednesday. He came in, popped into the training ground, met a couple of people on Thursday. Um, I think he decided that uh, he didn't have, um, we well, hadn't have enough time to implement some ideas between then and Saturday. So I continued, I carried on really. Right, okay. And so, uh, have you had a discussion yet about yourself and everything? Yeah, I'm, I think he's, he's happy to keep us here. Um, I think it may, there may be other people coming in, which I don't think is uh, secret or anything like that. So, so uh, you know, I'm happy to continue and, and hopefully move the club forward. And obviously you're happy being kept on. Yeah, I li yeah, I like being employed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It must be, I mean, generally, though, the, the way the team's played, you must, you must be pleased with that in your period. I mean... You've been a sort of bit of a legend, really, with the caretaker. <laughs> Five goals at Bristol Rovers and beating Port Vale as well. It's kind of steady the shit, those couple of results. Yeah, it is. It's, 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 as I've said before, it, it, the results will be coming. And we, we are building from a solid foundation, you know, and the team that gets relegated with, with issues around the club as well. We felt it was hard to make ourselves hard to beat. Um, and maybe that's possibly why we had so many draws early in the season. Um, but it was no, I was I was really really pleased, really, and I'm really really proud. I said to the players there, you know, for them to give me all they've got in them three games, it doesn't always happen. But I, I really I trust them as a group of players. Was it? Did Patrick get a final touch on that? So I've been told. I've not seen it again actually, but I think he did. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Celebrate as if he maybe got the last touch. But yeah, I'm not sure. I've been told that it's Patrick Bauer's goal. Yeah. Right. Okay. You've done it a few times. Scoop was just saying. Five, five times you've come back from losing positions to at least get an equaliser or get a winner. So. Right, well, they, they, in, it shows the spirit sometimes. Well, listen, there's always things to improve on from the start of the match. And to be honest, there was little patches in the first half. I thought, oh, we look all right here. But, they, but then they, they, they got on top. Um, but we, we kept going and that, that's, that's what it's all about. Football's never perfect. With, with their goal, what, what did you make of that? Obviously, training ground routine, isn't it? But should Duffy be picked up as he... Slips down that right inside. Yeah, we we showed we showed the lads it. Listen, this is this is a big part of Chrissy Wilder's game plan, and not just at it, not just at Sheffield. He's done it before. We showed him clips. We I think we may have even showed him that that one, and we didn't deal with it. Um, I think we possibly could have been stronger on the end of the wall um, and stepped outside the fella. But listen, these things happen. Did the new manager come into the dressing room after the game? Uh, he's been into our room. He's met. I think he may have uh, spoke to one or two players. Yeah. What do you make of how much do you think he might change, Kevin? I mean, it's difficult. I know a little bit to, to second guess what Carl's going to want to do. But, uh... Yeah, um, well, if you're going by the MK Don's game, MK Don's team over the last five, six years, you know, they uh, play open, expansive football. Um, so I'm sure to be. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be along them that route, you know. But obviously, every 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 team's got different players in it, so. Do you, just finally, do you think will it still be assistant manager your title or not? Or oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. No. I don't know.